using NFP, this is Tephrosia candida, a species indigenous to the northeastern region. So here you can see the farmer is pruning the hedgerows and applying the prune material as mulch to his ginger field. The idea is this will decompose and release the nutrients in the leaf to fertilize the soil. The pruning is done around one meter above ground level and this is a good time to prune. It is 20th of August so we still have a month or so of rains for the plant to recover. Samson is bringing uh, the prunings from the nitrogen fixing trees on the hedgerows and he's going to use that to mulch the turmeric in his salt farm. This is 2nd of September 2019. Now the prunings are slightly uh, overgrown. They should have been pruned much earlier but the farmer was busy with his zoom shifting cultivation field. So he's just uh, wrapping them up slightly and placing them at the base of the turmeric plants. It, another way is just if they are tender enough just to use it as a blanket to cover the soil, to keep the soil cool and fertilize it, increase the organic matter. क्या करेगा सैमसन ये क्या कर रहा है काम कर रहा है ना कौन सा काम है ये हल्दी हल्दी अच्छा होने के लिए हल्दी अच्छा होने के लिए क्या करेगा तुम ये हार देगा ये हार है ना हाँ हार है हार से क्या फायदा होता है ये हार हार से हल्दी के लिए फायदा है अच्छा कैसा फायदा है ये बड़ा होगा ज़्यादा निकलेगा उसका जोर अच्छा ये हार कहाँ से लाया तुमने ये हार कंट्रोल लाइन में हम लगाए अच्छा अच्छा बहुत अच्छा बात है He has grown these uh, nitrogen fixing plants on the contour lines as hedgerows and then time to time he is to prune them and use them to mulch the soil. It's the last week of May 2021. We've had uh, some rains this month and now it's a few days of dry spell so I've been doing some pruning of these hedgerows. This is species is Tephrosia candida, nitrogen fixing plants. So as you can see here, this is the clippings. We keep the hedgerows to a height of around one meter. And you can prune them around three, four times in the year. There is a a lychee tree and a gooseberry tree beyond between these two hedgerows and uh, we have also planted some millet and uh, chilies etc which are yet to germinate so here is a small vegetable garden protected by this insect screen mainly to keep out the chickens. It's growing some, some tomatoes, some ladyfinger and beans, cowpea. Here we are again. I've done some mulching with the prunings from these nitrogen fixing hedgerows. just placed 
the clippings on the soil. I have not uh, made a very thick layer because I have just a few days ago put some seeds to fill in the gaps. So I don't want a very thick layer to you know, suppress the germination. Next month I'll try and put in a thicker layer. So this mulch basically, you know, apart from you know releasing the nutrients in the leaves, especially nitrogen when it decomposes, it also provides food for uh, the earthworms and other soil organisms, you know, which make this soil a living thing. And it also uh, shields the soil surface from the harsh rays of the sun, you know, which can evaporate all the soil moisture. And then when it does rain and the rain comes down this steep slope, this uh, mulch will also, you know, hold some of the moisture. It will protect the soil from the raindrop erosion. So there are a lot of benefits to this mulching. Another view.